Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go over how to make a custom facade using blocks in Rhino. It's a really exciting method to explore design. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please remember to subscribe and like the video. And also check out my other more preliminary video on blocks as well on my channel. Thank you very much and let's get started. Let's first open up Rhino. All right, so let's open up Rhino. I have Rhino here and I'm going to extrude this. So I'll just pull this up, extrude this downwards, and I'm going to type in block. I'm gonna select a base point, doesn't really matter. Just call it block 01. And now I'm going to array this block in the X direction one, in the Y direction 10, and in the Z direction 10. Let's go. All right, so now we have a facade wall here and let's go and jump into shaded view so we can see this a little bit better. So now we just have a regular wall and let's start to manipulate this wall in terms of pattern. So I could double click on my block and I can hit control shift and to just select this, the face itself and come in and do a simple uh, scale there. Now we have a rendered facade and we can just keep on going along these, these lines. If we wanted to make it a point like this, we can do that. Uh, and you notice that there is a hole there, so I could always come in and cap this, press OK. And you can see how very quickly you can have a pretty dynamic surface just with using blocks, which is pretty, pretty fun. And you can just keep on playing around and manipulating uh, that one block to generate uh, various patterns. Another thing that you can do here is select the point itself. So once I have this double clicked, I can control shift and hit the, the point itself and move, move that. So I can, let's say I wanted to have a circle, I could use that. All right, that's all I have for uh, making custom blocks.